Hello there, fellow WordPress website builders. I hope you're all doing well today. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the WP File Download Plugin, which is a top notch digital download plugin for WordPress. With this powerful plugin, you can create and customize file download categories, add tags, and organize your files into folders, making it easy for your visitors to find what they need. This plugin has so many fantastic features, but in this video, I'd like to focus on what I consider to be the most important for everyone. So let's dive into the main features of WP File Download. We'll cover how to manage your file downloads on the admin side and set up the front-end display with download themes. We'll also explore how to add file downloads to your WordPress content and all the different file access limitations you can set. Additionally, we'll take a closer look at the file search engine, the digital download preview engine, and the file download statistics and icon builder. Lastly, we'll review the plugin integrations and prices. So, get ready, and let's get started with the first sequence, or we'll upload our first digital downloads. I'll see you there. Let's start this video by creating and managing digital downloads from the WP file download plugin. If you take a look on the left side of your screen, you'll notice the various file categories or folders where your downloadable files are stored. First, I need to create a file category to store my files. Click on the button located at the top left of the screen and give it a name. Great, now we have an empty category. Let's upload some files to it and see how it looks. Great, all my files have been uploaded in background and now they are available for me. One of the great features of managing files is the ability to move, copy, cut, and paste them as if you were using a file explorer. Simply right-click on the files to perform these actions. For example, you can select multiple files. Make a copy and move them to another empty category. My files are copied to another category here. Another thing to mention here on this view is that if you have a very large digital document library, the admin search engine will be your friend. Let's try to make a request, for example, if I type the word feed, it'll return all the files related to that request. Also, there are many search filters to limit the search results here, like file type, weight etc. Another useful feature is the ability to perform actions on a file category by right-clicking on it. This allows you to create a new category under the current one, duplicate it, add a color, and edit all the category settings. We'll cover this in more detail in the next sequence. In this third sequence, we will focus on editing files and adjusting file category settings. To access category settings, simply right-click here and select Edit Category. Once you access the settings, you'll see a variety of options to choose from, including file listing themes, there are five to choose from, as well as default ordering settings for files. On the right side, there are file access limitation settings, which we'll cover in a separate segment. These settings allow you to display or hide certain elements on your website's front end specifically for this particular category of files. It's worth noting that all of these settings can be defined by default in the plugin setting, so you don't have to adjust them each time. Next, let's take a look at the options available for each individual file. To do this, click back on the category and right-click on the file you want to edit. Here, you'll see a range of file settings, including password protection, the ability to use a remote URL to replace the file download link, publication dates, and the option to upload a new version of the file to update it transparently. In the upcoming video section, we'll add your file to your WordPress content and see how it looks on the front end. Here, we are on a WordPress page editor, specifically built with Elementor, but it's worth noting that WP File Download works with all page builders in the same way. If I search for files in the content widget here, I can select the file download category and drag it into my content. Now I need to select a file category to get a preview of it. Here it is, let's select this one for example and add it. Nice it's added here in my content, this is actually the default theme. Now, let's take a look at how the files appear on the public side. 
you can download files and preview some of them. On the left side, you'll find the file category navigation. To test out different file display themes, simply edit the category, select the desired theme, and save. You can choose from five different themes. The second theme is the Google Drive theme resembles Google Drive's interface. The preview theme uses the file preview image instead of file icons. The table theme is more compact and perhaps better suited for large file listings. Lastly, the tree theme is ideal for displaying many files in a small column for example. In the next video section, we'll explore all the file access limitation settings. In this video section, we'll be discussing about file access and it's an interesting sequence that deals with limiting file or category access for users. When it comes to file access limitation, there are two types, one for public users' file visibility and another for specific user actions. For public users, it's common to hide a file or category of files when the user is not logged in. On the other hand, specific user actions can limit what a user can and cannot do with a file such as uploading or deleting files depending on his WordPress credentials. Let's start with file visibility limitations. Keep in mind that limitations can apply to categories of files or even individual files. In this demonstration, I'll edit a category of files previously added to my content. By changing the visibility settings on the right, I can make the category private and limit access to subscribers with WordPress accounts. When I return to the page without being connected here and refresh the page, see, I can no longer access the file category. Files are not visible to me anymore. Now let's remove the user group visibility and use the password protection. I will add a very secure password that is 1, 2, 3. It's not recommended, but this is just for a demonstration purpose. I'm saving the setting and going back to my public website. Okay, now I need to put my highly secured password. Once the password is set, I'll go back to the public website and enter the password to access the files again. This access limitation also applies to subcategories and individual files. It's a powerful feature that can be extremely useful. Now let's see the files management limitation we can set up. For that, I will go into the plugin setting, then file access. As you can see, in every user role your website has, you can select all the actions allowed by users. There are many actions to set up like actions on file categories and single files, but you can also prevent some users to download or preview files. In this example, I will lock the possibility to the non-connected users to download the files. So, only the preview will be allowed for them. Let's go back to my website where I'm a public user, refresh, and I can only use the preview button, not the download button, perfect. There are tons of other actions you can do with the file access limitation tool, like restrict the number of download per user or add a maximum delay. Let's continue this video with the file search engine. WP File Download has a powerful search engine, as you can see here, in this demo website. You can search for a file in the title or in the description. That's not all. Here, as you can see, you have access to filters and tags. The filters are pretty obvious, like the file category or file upload dates. The tags are keywords you can add to files and then use in the search engine. For example, if I search only for files with this tag, my results will be more limited. If I go into the plugin admin settings related to search, as you can see, I have the option to activate the plain text search, it means that the search engine will also search in my document content. Pretty cool, no? Let's jump to the next sequence where we'll see a special feature that is the file icon builder. The File Icon Builder is a very singular and very advanced feature of this digital download plugin. As its name stated, you can build your icon set or edit the existing one because file icons are in SVG format with image layers. 
For example, here I have all my icons listed and let's say I want to update the CSV icon color and shape. I will search for CSV here, it's okay I found it. Now I'm clicking on the edit icon and here you are, you can literally edit everything. Starting with the icon for the file, I'm picking up another one. Okay, I like this one. Then there's the extension name design, let's keep the default one here. The frame setting yes, let's try a square one. Or with a single bar maybe, okay. Finally, in the wrapper setting, I can choose the background color. This one looks good. Now all my CSV icons will be overridden by this one. To finish the sequence, let's take a look at the plugin statistic view. As you see here, there are some detailed download statistics, for example, I can filter by category or by files. I can also select a date range. In the setting, if you activate the option, you can even track download per user. To wrap things up, let's take a look at the plugin integrations and pricing. In addition to all the plugin features we just covered, the WP File Download plugin offers many third parties plugin integration like DV Builder, Gutenberg, and Elementor, which I demonstrated earlier in this video. There are also some cloud connectors like Google Drive, Dropbox, and OneDrive. The plugin is available for $49, which includes all the integrations I mentioned in this video. But if you want to use the cloud connectors add on, like Google Drive, you'll need to upgrade to the $69 option. Thanks for watching this video. If you're watching this video from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay informed about new plugin features and ask us any questions using the comments. And of course, you'll find all the useful links we've talked about in the description. Have a productive day, bye.